hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we are going to build these packages the types auth package is primarily we are building on uh, working on and other packages are already there the config database logger we are just going to create a new package called auth that will be a simple package which can be imported in each and every microservice i'm going to copy a couple of things from here to my new package let's say these are actually the basic things package json i will just say swiggy auth okay 1.0.0 this is my package name dependencies we will add a uh, add couple of more nestjs microservice no we don't need we just need common core because this is again a nestjs module we are going to add inside auth folder so go to auth we are going to have a source folder okay so this is my source folder inside this i will just create a index.ts index.ts and inside source we are going to have a simple auth module okay so now we need to understand how the authentication is happening right let me just remove this here we do have a firebase and it's important part how nestjs does it so this is our firebase right firebase what it is doing and this is your react app we're sitting here right react app you already have a firebase app configured this react app will go to the firebase and getting the token back now how our auth, all these services will know that uh, this token is protected and all these concepts how they will understand either you create a separate service but we have removed it now now what we will do is we will enable a lot of things inside inside this auth package this auth package is sitting in these microservices will tell that whatever the token you are sending in the authorization is valid or not and this is again going to use firebase credentials only to validate okay same we are going to do here there will be a firebase package firebase admin module it will use and it will also use firebase credentials to validate the authorization header okay and we are building this uh, auth package so auth package i was exploring is there any existing library which can help me because let's see if i'm generating token by myself then we can use passport jwt to sign and verify and then same module can be used to authorize to validate the token is valid or not currently this token is being generated by firebase not by us so we cannot just uh, decode it by ourselves we need to use external library so we are using firebase uh, jwt and it's a simple library i will say we are already using this uh, firebase admin library in the auth app now we will just remove that and replace with a auth package so what we need we need auth strategy and auth guard that means some routes which are protected like restaurant search will be public but create restaurant update restaurant add menu items all the those routes will be private so we need to protect those api routes with uh, some auth card so for auth card we can create auth strategy and then we can sub create this separate module so i'm just going to copy and paste a little couple of things and then we will restructure all these things auth.module.ts we need to import lots of things because nothing is available right now i will just do pnpm install at the root that will do a lot of things for me at least the installation of the modules and then we have this auth strategy what this auth strategy is doing see it is uh, same as the other auth strategy we have used till now it is using passport strategy and it is using this firebase uh, jwt that means first of all jwt request it will extract the authorization header from the headers and then it will validate that token using this method and here we are using firebase admin that's it so validate method is just using firebase admin apis to validate the token and return true false if it is validating successfully then it, then it will give you the firebase user 
that we can add on the request.user okay so let's copy this firebase strategy so we'll just create a strategy auth strategy.ts okay there is one more thing we need to add this firebase config and we already know we are not going to inject the config like this i will just create a config folder for now firebase.ts so you need to have this firebase application already initialized if you want to use it something like this so we need to have a firebase admin so let's add some packages first of all inside this so cd uh, packages cd auth you can just do pnpm add firebase admin and north strategy we are using firebase uh, jwt firebase admin nestjs passport it's better if we add them as a dev dependencies because we are going to bundle only the firebase module okay then we are going to use the same version of uh, firebase uh, jwt and firebase admin in our uh, restaurant service or any other microservice so these has been added in the package json i will remove i will move them to package okay so these are all our dependencies i will move them to the dev dependencies and then i will do pnpmi so they will be treated as a dev dependencies only okay firebase auth strategy so i need to import this nest js passport Next is password we already have. Okay, we don't have. It's complaining and Firebase. We don't need these uh, things. What we will do is the important part is initializing the Firebase admin. We are going to do that in the this SDK. Okay, this token is of type string. And here, before even using the auth, right? We are going to initialize the Firebase app and how we do it is we are going to do something like this. And how we are going to get all these credentials, we are going to inject the config module. So it is going to have a dependency on the config module. This is our config module. Auth and config. Here I will create a new typings for auth. So similarly there will be a firebase because this auth module we are use this config module we are using to populate the configurations everywhere right and inside firebase what all things we have let's replace this with the firebase firebase config This Firebase config we will define the typings, export, interface, Firebase config and there are a lot of credentials we need to add in the Firebase config and what all those credentials are, at least these things right, API key, auth domain and all and then we will add this uh, config module inside auth module because these are the packages can be interlinked so and we can use these configurations. So here we are in the config module. This is config interface. I will just create a typings. API key is of type string. I will just copy and paste and then change the typings. So this is of type string and copy and paste everywhere. auth domain database url when you create a firebase app on the firebase console you will get all these credentials 
that's all are required so this is of type firebase config right this is how i added it and this is the firebase service i'll just change this to the firebase all these properties you are going to add from env so this is the auth service that will give us all these credentials so i will just replace them with the firebase api key Similarly, all these properties auth domain, database URL, project ID, bucket, vendor ID, credentials. Okay, I will just change these things later. This Firebase config, and here you will have Firebase with some default values. I mean, this is like a repetitive task config default. Initialize that with empty values. A little bit boring task for me. I'll just get this done and then we will connect. Okay, so five is sender ID. So this is how we added things in the config module now this config module we will publish i mean we just build it and we'll define the dependencies inside auth module right how we do it inside auth module how will i add this dependency is simply this is how we do it swiggy config that's it i will do build it and then this config module will get added in the node modules of this package so first of all get this built properly config module defaults no errors interface fine this is fine service we got everything covered now we can do a build i'm not sure why these names are not updated i will just do simply build it has been built successfully now i will build auth module if the dependencies are all there then it is getting the firebase config and then it is building the firebase uh, auth module and you can see there is some auth strategy issue user is declared but never used some type script errors that obviously we need to fix token is of type string initialize app i will just pass an empty object for now here we are going to inject the config module right which we got from the config package config service config service is not available so we need to import the config module inside the auth module config module or we need to import config module here so that we will get it so here we are importing okay we this is our config module this is how all we are exporting from here so we can import in the auth package auth module this is this is going to import why it's not resolving first of all it's uh swiggy okay i need to do pnpm install that's a thing which i didn't do so that i can get this config module inside my auth package now we will see inside a node modules okay i can see this little tiny here config packages has been added and then I can now add this config module and config service, whatever you want. Here I need config module. So I will add this as a dependency. Right. And then I can inject the config service inside my auth strategy. 
this is config service i can import and i will get all these properties to initialize the app right from the config service so i will just pass config service dot get dot firebase that's it that will give me the all these properties and initialize app i will get from firebase admin firebase admin takes options which is of an object auth options which contains all these properties initialize app the sdk database urls what is the why it is complaining okay firebase config is not assignable to parameter app options credentials are incompatible okay yes i think so why whatever the credentials we have set this is not compatible which i will fix app options credentials are of type credential okay we need to add these typings there also then or we can just add the typings any in the config package so we can import it right so here instead of this interface credential is of type any so we don't need to import the firebase admin package here and then you do the build again firebase is a config package this is of type any and then you build the i mean you need to do pnpm install or add the package versioning but this is how you are going to play with these things and auth strategy now how this is important what we are going to do is this is our auth module right this auth module we will export from this to our all the services right so index.ts here we are going to export everything from auth module okay export everything from auth strategy all these things whatever you can ex export export them so that let's say if i want to include this auth package anywhere in my application what i will do is import auth strategy from this because these strategy and module we are going to use in the restaurant service and this strategy is going to be very crucial because this is how we are going to validate the token which is coming from the front end so here now this is working right this is the user and we have to return the user from here you will also log it so this is the strategy we are going to bind to all the api routes we will create a simple auth guard so how my guard look like is i can just create an auth guard here i do have simple auth guard okay this is auth module i created simple auth guard which looks something like this we can just simply stand it something like this it's a simple firebase auth guard which is extending auth guard firebase auth because with the name of firebase auth there is already a strategy defined okay and then we will use firebase auth guard that will that indirectly is using this auth strategy to authorize the token and give us the the firebase user in the response hi everyone so let's continue our journey i took a pause to look around few things so here we were building the packages right uh, auth package and the config package so this config package we have already built and this auth package is our primary focus because our target is to replace this uh, authentication service and just use this auth package right this auth package is uh, good enough for us so that we can just do authentication by creating auth guard from this auth package so what this auth package will provide a simple auth module because it's just a nest js code we are going to expose auth guard auth strategy auth module and auth guard comes with a strategy right and i as i explained we are using uh, this module the module which we have added in this package json which is passport firebase jwt because that is giving us whatever we need uh, we can just hit search 
like we generally use passport GWT but here the, the token is generated by Firebase so we will be using this and the same way the only way is we just customize the way we are initializing the app because this needs to happen only once and we don't need to pass all these options we may we can just pass database URL and the credentials okay that you can also look into a Firebase documentation you can see even the credentials are enough if you are passing the credentials properly and what all options are in the credentials if you go to your Firebase console uh, you go to your app and then project settings here project settings you will see something like this and then this is how you are going to initialize because this is server side because at the server side you are going to validate the token if the token coming from the client is correct or not right basic authentication uh, we already doing this is something which we are doing at the client side right this is what we are doing at the server side okay service accounts you go to the service accounts tab and this is my service account tab you can actually generate a private key and use that private key here i will talk about what all uh, credentials you need to pass it so you don't need to pass the five different variables you can just limit your config module just to use only these two variables which is database url and credentials okay now inside auth module how we are importing it uh, i already added this dependency of a config swiggy config module here so that i will have a configurations enabled and then here is this is my auth module in auth module i'm saying is i'm using passport uh, strategy firebase auth this is my auth strategy the name is firebase auth right it is the same strategy but here the the only thing is we are using this uh, firebase auth firebase auth to extract the jwt and then use the strategy so this is just giving us a jwt token and then it we are passing the token here this token will be passed to the firebase admin admin instance to verify it okay if it is not verified it will send an authorized exception otherwise it will give you the firebase user with the uid and email argument it contains only two properties uid and email i have debugged it and then we will get it and then here i'm using some guard auth guard auth guard is doing nothing right now it is just saying firebase auth guard extends auth guard we will we can customize it a little bit how i can customize it is uh, so there are two things one is guard and one is a strategy guard will use uh, these strategies okay so what we what we will use it we will customize it just first have a demo how it really works so this is our strategy and this is our guard this guard can be used because it is extending auth guard and it is using this firebase auth strategy same strategy is defined here so it will map to this strategy this strategy and whatever the validate is going to return that will get added inside a request dot user so that is the advantage of using this uh, particular firebase jwt uh, module because it verify your token and once it validates it puts whatever the response coming out of it inside request dot user okay then i wrote a custom decorator custom user decorator which will give me the user object that we can use inside controllers this is all nest js stuff let's uh, forget it for now this is the auth module and this is the config module i need to use auth module in my restaurant service okay restaurant service is same as the legacy service what i did is i removed this gatekeeper service we can delete it we don't need it now restaurant service uh, itself capable of validating the the authorization token and how it is doing it it is using this auth guard coming from auth package so currently i just i'm just showing you a simple restaurant controller and restaurant service restaurant controller and here we have added this guard you can see use guard firebase auth guard right so firebase auth guard will use this auth strategy and uh, this route is protected now because we are using this firebase auth guard now this will validate the token if it is coming from this firebase sdk and all and we need to populate environment variables for this uh, app in environment variables we are passing three things firebase private key 
Firebase client email, database URL and project ID. Because Firebase uh, admin is taking two arguments, database URL and credentials. Credentials we are creating through these three arguments. Okay, let me go to the code to show something on this. This is a strategy. So before we even start verifying the Firebase token, we need to initialize the Firebase app. And initially I struggled to get this working because first of all, you should not do it like this. Either you initialize the Firebase app at the instance level, the Nest.js process instance level, but we are using this as a package. So we cannot just uh, pass this because this is right now part of the auth strategy. This will get called every time whenever there is a service request is coming. So I created a simple singleton class. You can see this singleton class of TypeScript. This is going to initialize the Firebase app only once, once this instance is null. Otherwise, it won't create it and we will get the existing Firebase instance. That Firebase instance we can use here. So this is a strategy. We are just initializing it. And then auth.verify token, the basic stuff, right? So let's see that in the demo. Uh, this restaurant service is not a new one. We have already discussed about it in, our, in, our, in the beginning videos. It's all about it using the type ORM. And we have this uh, different entities like the restaurant entity, restaurant address, dish menu items, all, all these different entities. And this is the restaurant service. Restaurant service is just creating the restaurant, adding the address, all these simple, simple things. Okay. Now, uh, what we are going to do is I will play with uh, UI a little bit. So from UI, I actually copied this access token. Okay. When you do the login, you just see this request or I'm also storing this token inside the uh, local storage application because I'm using some auth provider uh, and I'm also storing this token in the local storage. I copy this. How we are generating it? That's a different thing. I just copied this token and this is only the first microservice we have, right? I will just use it. Let's see if it is not expired and then I will hit this service. Let's say if I'm not passing it or I'm passing something wrong. So what will happen? It should throw unauthorized. We will customize this exception coming from here. You can see uh, decoding Firebase ID token fail because the token is invalid, right? What we can do to handle these kind of kind of exceptions, this auth guard because this auth guard running, uh, throwing an exception. From here, this is the auth package, auth strategy. This is throwing unauthorized exception. Right, so how we are handling it, we are, let's go to the controller. This is our controller. Create restaurant, but before that, this strategy will come into the picture. We can add a exception interceptor, and that will decide, okay, if this is coming 401, then deal it something like this. This exception is being thrown from the auth strategy. Okay, we'll customize it later, like how we can throw the proper 401 error unauthorized. Now, I will just copy the, the real token, which we are getting from here. It's copying the, the double quotes also, which I need to remove. and remove the first double quotes. So this is the valid token we are passing. Now if I do it, what it will do, it should create a restaurant. And you can see it is creating this restaurant and how that is happening. This is the owner ID. Actually, this is the author, uh, the user ID and Firebase is assigning it by itself for the individual email. That's fine. We can store this because this is not a UUID. So I need to tweak my database also. Earlier the owner ID was of type UUID. Now if we look at the sequence of events, what is happening? We are hitting uh, the restaurant API. Okay, so it is starting here. This is my payload. Before that I was also putting that in the console somewhere. Like what is the token coming? Maybe we need to put uh, some proper login to see, but how the, what is the flow? 
this is my restaurant controller right and this is the user metadata this is the user decorator which where i'm getting from this is coming from the same auth package swiggy auth package firebase auth guard user and user metadata and user metadata contains two things uid and the email and once you do the login i mean once you hit the controller before that we already have validated the user i can just print what all things we have in the user and we are calling create restaurant which contains the user object create restaurant here we are assigning the owner id as a user id that's it i mean it's just like existing code no more changes here i just want to show you what we are getting from the firebase inside the user object so here we can see somewhere yes this is the, the payload which we are getting from the firebase once the firebase decodes the authorization token it gives us all the what is the issuer what is the audience auth time user id this is what we need and we need email address because if we need want we can use it but the uid and the email we are extracting from this and obviously what all challenges i faced while just creating this simple authentication mechanism i can also talk about that the way you are importing the firebase will give us give you some trouble so always try to import the initialize app why something like this so this is the recent change when you want to import the firebase app you import it like this so you won't get any random errors i was struggling with this error then i found this because it is supporting the firebase app import in different ways if you import it something like this you won't uh, you won't be able to compile the auth module i mean auth module will work but when you import it and try to use it you will get a uh, weird errors so swiggy app react app we got the token restaurant service our main service which is exposing the rest interface now what we will do we have this restaurant api domain restaurant controller you already know what we can do we can add a restaurant dash because these are our entities so restaurant entity here i will add couple of more attributes so average price average rating like average price is price for two this is of type int default null average price and this is ratings ratings for 0 to 10 what is the rating of this uh, restaurant we already have social link website url description name owner id contact number banner delivery options okay rest all is good we have the restaurant entity restaurant address and restaurant dish entity right and we have this type or um, relationships one to one one to many uh restaurant and res restaurant address has one to one restaurant and dish has a one to many because me multiple dishes can be there for a restaurant and then as always we will we are going to write the apis which i will just cover in uh, uh, next video we will do it together what all we are doing and there can be uh apis which are not uh, which are not for which you don't need to pass authorization token like search do i need to pass uh, use the auth guard here i think no because search is the public api i don't need to access the who is searching what because user can access search api without even doing login and here we are passing search query dto which contains latitude that is optional is defined is optional longitude is optional okay we need a page offset and then search params search attribute let's say because you might you can enter anything uh, let's say search text right this should be string search text where you can pass the the dish name uh, you can pass the city anything okay this is of type string so each string is defined means it should not be empty page is optional limit is optional 
and we will see in our APIs. So this is our API spec and you can see in search we are passing all these properties and parameters latitude, longitude, search text, space and limit. And can I access it like this? Okay, these are required. Okay, page must be a number. Okay, let's see. Page and limit, what validations we have used in the DTO. So this is my DTO, search query DTO. This is required false. This is required false. Required true. This page is false false, okay, is optional is optional page and limit okay i got it because uh, what happens is you can't just because these are the query params these won't be transformed directly into uh, numbers right they will be passed inside a query as a string only if you want to convert them into the number then you can use a validation pipe here transform attribute and transform them from string to a number so now let's keep them as a string in string limit offset and I can pass it I mean I'm not doing anything but I can access this API because there is no auth guard enabled right so this is how we can uh, write write some APIs which are protected and so for the protected APIs we will use auth guard this firebase auth guard okay currently we don't have any roles authorizations is not there in this uh, particular set of APIs but we can also create a custom decorator and can say okay is this particular API is only allowed to this particular role but till now this is all about uh, how we are building the API system in the maybe in the next video we will uh, together we will build all the APIs about restaurant dish and then expose all those APIs and get our things running so on front end we should be able to publish all the restaurant data so that the front end can render the information